Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's just a simple card and it's using the new, oh, I forgot the name of it. I want to say Shining Christmas. It is Shining Christmas specialty paper. So we've had five new paper, hello Sorrel, five new paper packs that launched um, last week last week, the week before, it launched um, on the 6th, but they are completely standalone and my husband's cooking downstairs, so if you can hear him, that's what's going on. Um, but yes, it's speciality paper. Now, I did show it last week when I had my surprise delivery, um, but I thought I would show it to you again. It's all here. So it's shiny one side, sort of glossy with shiny. This is probably the best one to see it. Um, so the green is, well, this is all glossy paper, but the red is the shiny with matte on the other side. Um, just all a lot of fun, really. Um, this is the one I'm going to be working with. We've got Christmas trees with red on them and then the reverse and just lovely and the argyle with baubles and the one I used before and then Christmas presents with well, I suppose they're the centre of some proper retro baubles aren't they really um, but yeah so just a lot of fun and I've got I've got cards all this week for you um, which is unusual for me but I just I was in a card kind of mood um, and so I was showing them to Oliver who's my youngest son and he decided he liked this one best of all so that I need to show you this one so um, yeah so what I'm doing is I'm cutting my piece of cardstock in half to then score it in half so this is Mossy Meadow so this is the other colour that's in the paper pack don't worry about my measurements because I work in international A4 so they could be different to yours you might want to do a big card you might want to do one that's that size when it's folded or you might like to do square cards the principle is um, make a card base and then cut a layer of your beautiful stunning designer series paper that is, I work in metric, so half an inch, no, it's not even, no, it's half a centimetre shorter and narrower than the folded card base. Let me get the correct one out. And a bone folder. So this piece is half a centimetre shorter and narrower, so I get this lovely equal border all the way around. If you work in Imperial, maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. So that's my base, but I'm just going to chop it in half and there's no set measurement. I'm just eyeballing it so that I can get my card base from my one piece. So I'm going to put a panel there in that beautiful shiny um, red holly berry and then the other side. And that's simply it. But while I'm here, I'm going to get my stamp set. So this is the one I'm using um, today. Christmas Classics. It is what it is. You say it as it is. So I might go with Peace on Earth this time. I went for Seasons Greetings before. But I think I want to go with Peace on Earth. Which is this one. And while I've got my trimmer out, I'm going to measure it. And that's going to be... Ooh, what's that going to be? I'm going to say, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, five and a half centimetres by five. Five by five and a half. So I've got some white here. Five by five and a half. And then I want some more of this green. So this is the other bit, but you know, this is good for scraps. And make that the same half centimetre um, difference than I had on the base layer, or the patterned layer I should say, and then I'm going to get that same equal border. So if you made this half a centimetre shorter and narrower, this one as well, if you made this one an eighth of an inch, make this one an eighth of an inch, just so you get the same um, sizing, that's the word, I want, a block. I want a bigger square block, oh they're here, so peace on earth. And I'm going to do this one in the cherry cobbler, which is the red. And I'm going to set that off to the bottom. Oh, there we go. What did I do with that stamp set? Oh, under my trimmer. And I'm going to get my holly leaves out, which are there grab those on a block and then I did have where's my 
scrap. Oh, here it is. My scrapper and my phone, and then mossy meadow. Oh, I did ink my thumb. And then just come across in one corner around the bottom and just get some nice little holly leaves on there. I think that's probably enough. And I'm going to start layering up with my stamping seal onto my piece of card that I cut earlier. all over there. Do. It's either ink or it's lipstick, one or the other. And put that to one side and then put the same panel on and just butt it up to the side. That's going to fit on there and then I want to put some ribbon behind it here but just because it's a little bit lost. So I've got this one out which is the herringbone ribbon and just splodge a load of glue over it. And which way do I want my tail? I want my tail out that way. And I hope these are the good scissors that I cleaned up the other day. They are, yay! That's brilliant. And then some dimensionals. Sort of to anchor the ribbon in place, but um, also to give it life and lift and all that. On there. Just put that on there. And then to finish, um, where are they? Okay, I've got these and I'm using these all week. So definitely get these in your arsenal. So these are red and green adhesive backed pearls. I want to say these are from the annual catalogue. Um, I might put my holly berries there. Yeah, I'm using these on all three projects this week, but they're not all Christmas projects. And I just want to put a few extras in just because I can. And that is a quick and simple card. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.